Hi guys, once again, this is Alfred from BinaryOptionsTutor.com and I've just decided to hell with trading. I'm going to do a video today that will really have some impact on your life. We're going to talk about what to do if you run into a really fast mouse. Because right here, you can see on my screen, i got Speedy Gonzalez. I've seen lots of video evidence that if this guy comes along you really just need to give up whatever it is he's after because he's just too damn fast no but seriously guys it's come to my attention that a lot of people uh, seem to view more of the Speedy Gonzalez uh, scalp trading videos that I've been doing recently on Nadex but today I wanted to talk about something different uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about Bitcoin and specifically Bitcoin wallets and how to get involved in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. But before I start talking about uh, that, I want to explain uh, cryptocurrency a little bit because in reality, if you if you understand more about whatever it is you're investing or trading in, you're probably going to uh, have a stronger hand meaning uh, when the markets going with you that's real easy to just say cool uh, the markets going up and making money but when the markets leaning against you that's when you really want uh, to understand what's going on and why you decided to participate in the first place so I want to try and cover that first and then I'll talk about a place to get started uh, purchasing some cryptocurrency first thing I don't do this often but let's talk about fundamentals keeping the number of coins limited 21 million bitcoins maximum will be mined which may sound like a huge amount but of the 21 million possible coins 16.5 million have already been mined and are in circulation so the end is nigh with how many bitcoins uh, are going to be mined and if that still sounds like a lot of bitcoin then consider this the u.s bureau of engraving and printing prints up to 541 million in new dollars every day and that's 197 billion dollars each year so looking at fundamentals uh, there's going to be a lot less bitcoin in circulation than u.s dollars and that brings me to my next little point right here this is a chart from the 1900s uh, to 2010 and it's just an observation of the purchasing power of the US dollar is the government prints more and more US dollars you can't escape the law of supply and demand and that's why the purchasing power of the US dollars is going down 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 because we're artificially just manufacturing value out of thin air a lot of people will say this and that about Bitcoin but what I found is a lot of people aren't really aware of what's going on every day in our own economy not only here in the US but also really across uh, all fiat currencies so this is also something that fundamentally you can look at uh, when you're looking at cryptocurrencies there's a cap there's no cap there's no limit to how many dollars euros etc that uh, the central banks can decide to print and let's put purchasing power into perspective here here's another chart this is like 1975 to 2015 and uh, we can see a new car in 75 3800 dollars average price uh, 2015 thirty-one thousand two hundred and fifty two dollars something that I thought was really fascinating uh, is minimum wage in 1975 two dollars and ten cent 
minimum wage here in the states uh 2015 $8.25 an hour now the reason that's fascinating is because here's the cost of public college $1,819 and while minimum wage is appreciated 400% in that time span the cost to attend public college has appreciated more than 10x in that same time span and probably one of the most powerful things you can do for yourself is really to uh, improve your education and to move yourself forward uh, in life is to uh, improve your education because it, you have to have some education so that you can uh, glean when there is an opportunity or when there isn't an opportunity. So, you know, there goes my conspiracy theory right there for you. Take it as you will, just looking at those numbers. But all across the board here, you can see the power of purchasing power of the dollar and a lot of real world instruments. You can see it's going down. And that deflation of the purchasing power is also reflected in just uh, inflation uh, in the debt uh, that's going on uh, throughout fiat currency. And now we're just looking at fundamentals in math. Um, but I wanted to look at something else also. So I'm going to go to this next slide. And this is, while a lot of guys have always been, well, I won't say always, but pretty regularly somebody will write me and they'll say something about cryptocurrencies and I've just been ignoring it over the years you know not looking at the fundamental things I just shared with you guys but listening to a lot of the talking heads ah uh, this is a fad ah uh, this is a fraud ah uh, blah 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 you know in comfortable trading what I'd already been trading and you know I can take or leave trading uh, uh, it's not live or die to me you know, is is to some people, and I've said on this channel before. At this point, I'm not primarily. I'm not trading. Uh, primarily, my brother and I are reselling. We own a lot of e-commerce, on a few e-commerce sites, and we sell on some of the larger e-commerce sites. But uh, trading, you know, is not a primary source of income, but you can see a lot of guys are starting to accept crypto in some way shape or form there's subway there's cheapair.com there's overstock this is one of the first people i remember uh adapting uh, there's um uh, wikipedia there's wordpress um taking cryptos is um a form of donation and Stripe and Simple Pay, all of these guys, because they're payment processors, and I want to talk about that for just a second. You hear a lot of people talking about blockchain this and blockchain that, but to simplify this, uh, I want to explain ledgers and and how money is really work in our country and all the countries really in the banking system. Probably um, everyone listening to this has a credit card. I've I've got one. I don't really use credit. I let go of credit a long time ago, but that's another story. Um, if you have a credit card, it's soft. It, it's a soft asset, you know. Um, whatever you're doing there, and what's really happening under the hood is. Uh, you make a purchase with your card. Let's say you go out and buy something, uh, $100 worth of groceries or whatever. And at that instant, the credit card is going to make that $100 out of thin air. And you're going to get your groceries because the credit card is just said okay he's good for he's got a hundred dollars in credit or she on their card 
Now, that's making a hundred bucks out of thin air. And what happens is the gamble is that within the remaining in those next 30 days you're going to pay that money back so that hundred dollars in the interim there has to be some insurance purchased by the financer to cover just in case what if you don't what if you eat the food the hundred dollars in food and you say to hell with it i'm not going to pay the hundred dollars back that's why it's a soft asset all of this stuff is going on under the hood but when you're using something like Stripe or you're using something uh, like some of these other payment processors, Zynga, Stripe, etc., uh, to make a purchase, then the instant that you make the purchase, you can go out onto the blockchain and you can say, okay, this guy just bought a Tesla with his Bitcoin and I can check and I can know right now that in fact there's money there for that Tesla and if everything worked on the blockchain where there was proof of work then uh, you wouldn't have ledger balances in this so much money being printed out of thin air everything with again uh, that's essentially why cryptocurrency uh, are such a threat to the banking industry uh, because it changes the game you know in the necessity of fiat currency starts to uh, dwindle and decentralize so that's really what the blockchain is all about i know sometimes you hear about it but that's essentially in very basic layman's terms what it really all is about now let's talk about where can you purchase uh some bitcoin and why i'm doing this video right now over here uh, this is coinbase.com I'm going to leave a link to this site in my uh, description and if you choose to use the link and you purchase a hundred dollars or more Bitcoin then you're going to receive a ten dollar bonus uh, it's an affiliate link so I'm going to get something like ten dollars if you decide to sign up this is very similar to when uh, I first started uh, using PayPal. It was kind of like a new tech. I think they were called Zoom then. And they were giving $5 to bring people into the idea of that uh, currency online. Uh, pseudo currency, I guess. So, you know, no pressure either way. Uh, I'm really here showing you, in my opinion, the easiest way to purchase bitcoin especially if you live in the united states would be to tie a bank account to this coinbase account and you can purchase as well as sell bitcoin liquidating it if the price appreciates and take some of your profits off the table and get it back into the dollar or any fiat currency so again no pressure either way uh, it's just a way to get a little ten dollars or ten percent if you're going to just uh, purchase a hundred dollars why not so timing currency is appreciated a lot uh, Bitcoin has and they're at three thousand eight hundred ninety eight dollars as I do this but there's been a real big pullback recently and you can see we're down almost nine percent on the month uh, so decided to do a video when there's some pullback and if you're buying lower you've got an easier chance of being able to sell high 
uh, I'm going to do some other videos with more Bitcoin talk and talk about what's going on in the cryptocurrency sphere but this one I just wanted to talk about uh, cryptocurrency wallets you can come here and purchase Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin they're all available at Coinbase and Coinbase is essentially a cryptocurrency wallet uh, that you can hold your Bitcoin in online there's always a debate over which is best but I'm fine with holding some currency inside of Coinbase or using uh, a software wallet which I'll talk about in another video um, but this is the easiest way to get involved and to actually get your feet wet inside of Bitcoin and this may not be a terrible time considering that this bullish market you can see here just bullish 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 market is taking a breather and pulling back in actually negative balance now on the month that's all I had I hope that this has been informative and it's just a little Bitcoin talk uh, about cryptocurrency what's it all about and what what's really geared behind the technology in the pricing model that we've been seeing over these last couple of years see you guys on the next video once again this is alfred from binary options tutor.com like share comment subscribe if we've helped you please help us by sharing this content with others